Captain Zach. What's up? What's in your arm? Okay, great. Fantastic. Well, welcome aboard Battle Ridge Scotians. This is the fastest ride here at Cedar Point. We take you zero to eight miles per hour in seven and a half minutes. It's only a five minute ride. You tell me how did the two and a half work out for you. That's great. That's great. We're going to take it. Where? There's no somebody else up here. I am going to take you. <laughs> wow. I'm going to take, what's that? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a Zach and Adam show. You just messed me up. I don't know where I was going with that. Where was I at? Okay, yes. I'm going to take you on a tour of the lagoon. I'm going to show you some animation. Deflecting early Americana. I'm going to tell you a lot of jokes, a lot of stories. All of our jokes and stories are very cheesy and very corny. That's why Paddle Wheel is brought to you by Doritos. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, great. Moving on. If you look to your left, you look to your right hand side. Those are called trees, and that's your tour. You guys should stand up, come to the front, action to the right. Thanks for riding, Zach. You have a great day. Go ahead. That's where you are. Okay, just kidding. On your right is Warren Silk and John Cougar. Those two are going to be performing later tonight on the main midway as the famous duo, Elk and John. You should check it out. It's a great show. Here we have Jumpin' Jack, Boots, Scoot, Billy in a stinky situation. Right over these guys now here at Cedar Point, all stumps and had their stink lands removed. I like to say they're extinct. That's how I do things. Here we got Buck Skinner. What's happening, Buck? That's a very real good word for them damn fields and McGee's been feuding downriver and spooking all my games. Say what? Hey, what say? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, we're going to be in trouble, Zach. It's all your fault. This is the Camp Fields of the McGee's Death Box. We're just about. I need women to grab your chairs. There's husbands to grab your wives. Single ladies. Grab your dancing. <laughs> I get a little scared of the tail. I don't think she has nothing to worry about. They're just wooden men shooting wooden guns. Or some water would hit you and jump and wouldn't hurt that, would it? That's what I would have just talked about. Wouldn't you say? I bet you would. I would too. So I hope my wood jokes don't get scared off. On your left hand side, we have Bucky the Beaver. Bucky's a special beaver. Bucky's the only beaver in the world who can chop down trees in slow motion. <laughs> Oh, look at that. And that beaver behind him is his big sister. We'll leave it to we'll leave it to beaver. On the right, we have the town of Seville. We call the people in the town of Seville civilians. There's two ponies right there on the ordinary ponies. Normally, they come as a joke, but today, they're feeling a little worse. I know there's a back case of hay fever going around. That's just not cool. That's just not cool. If you look to your left hand side, if you look to your right hand side, that is Millennium Force. Millennium Force was built here in the year 2000, hence the name Millennium Force. Then there's a list of words that used to be the tallest, that used to be the fastest, and so drenched your team with the stolen thunder. Now it's just feeling a little blue. Uh, on the right we have Grandpa Joey, he's fishing with his two grandsons, Jimmy and Timmy. Timmy's a little square in the middle. What's up, Mantis? How you doing? I holla. Straight up ahead on your left hand side is Dr. Delbert by side. Now, Delbert is our local inventor, and every day for 37 years, Delbert tries to fly that plane over this boat to get to the other side. He's going to try right here, right now. But as you guys are about to find out, oh, it's just not going to happen. I asked Delbert why that was, he wouldn't tell me, so I called up his mom. Zach, you know what's said? Double down. Good to believe it. Here to your left, we have Buddy Rivers Bait and Tackle. Live bait while you wait. Buddy Rivers was America's very first professional oh, musician. He used to play the banjo and sing in a very famous group called the Van Jovies. Joe sure, very famous. One year they did so well on their album, it went aluminum. True, sure did. Right there is Simo D's outboard motor and boat repair. He's been dating that same boat the same way for the past 46 years. The joke's on us though, because he gets paid by the hour. Besides, when it gets cold outside, he just simply puts on a second coat. <laughs> yep, he does. He sure does. Here to your left, we have a Russell Rusty Steel. Rusty used to work at an orange factory. That's until he got canned. 
He came into work one day just his boss said he just couldn't concentrate. It makes me sad. Do you guys know what you call a bear with no teeth? A what? Who's a gummy bear? Fantastic, that's absolutely correct. Let's get off my boat head first. If I have the microphone, I do the jokes funny man. Sir, I don't think you were listening. I tell her I have the microphone, so I will tell the jokes. <laughs> As we dock, you may feel some bumps, you may feel some wax. It's all just a little bit of peer pressure. I never give in. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, 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 Rocky, it's a beast! That was, that was like a night crawler. <laughs> We're going to feel one last tug to the front. You're going to feel one last whack in the back. That's all because of the jerk behind the wheel. Do you guys want to hear a joke about a jump rope? Sure. Oh, let's just skip it. Do you guys want to stand up, come to the front, exit to the right. If you didn't like the ride, come to the front. You can exit to the left, hand first. <laughs> <laughs> 